Solar by Green Greg here, and today we're going to talk about operating the Pentair Solar Touch. This is just like a thermostat, like you have for your air conditioner, except this is to heat your pool. Our pool pump on when we're trying to heat the pool for, with solar. You basically want your pool pump on during the hotter parts of the day when the solar will work. Usually in so, Florida, it's like from 11 to 4 at least. You can run beyond that, of course, but, but notice this is off. 81 is our water temperature, our pool temperature, and our target right now um, is 79, the solar's off. See, it's a 79, and the solar's off. Right now, our valve is on the off position as well. How do I know it's off? Because, see how this is pointing to off? This is a paddle, it cuts this pipe off, and this is our pipe going up to the solar panels, up on the rooftop. This is our return. You notice I got a down arrow. How do I know this return? Because this is a check valve that goes just down. See how there's an arrow going down, if you can see that? There's a down arrow. That's going down, that's your return. So when this is off, it basically just, the water circulates up from here and then around and back down. When this valve is open, then water flows up to this, to this pipe, up the solar panels. So let's go ahead and turn this on. Keep in mind a couple things. Again, you wanna make sure your pump is on when you're trying to heat your pool with solar. And the rooftop has to be at least four degrees warmer than your pool temperature for solar to turn on. Why? Because some heat is lost through pipes. So here's our up and down arrow, and that's how you adjust your temperature. So let's put this up. I'm gonna set this at, we'll set it at toasty 89 degrees. That's a little warm for some people, but that's what this homeowner likes. They like it hot. So it's all based on personal preference. But all you gotta do is adjust up and down these arrows and you'll notice our valve is moving now. It's moving to the open position. See that? It's moving. So right now the solar is on. You will notice some noises coming from the pipes, some water noises, that's fine. You might also notice some turbulence in the pool. And if you look at your jets coming out of the pool, they're gonna be bubbling quite a bit. Uh, that's gonna last for a few minutes. It could last as long as five minutes, but this will settle down once the air gets pushed out of the pipes. Also, let's see now how it's settled down a bit. So that's absolutely normal. By the way, here's the solar pool heater panels up on the rooftop. I got a separate video explaining the solar pool heater panels. That, first of all, again, we have to have at least four degrees warmer on the rooftop versus the pool. If we don't have that four degrees or more, the solar won't turn on, okay? And that's designed, again, because pipes lose heat. So you want to make sure you got that temperature difference. One more thing that's very important. I'd recommend to run your creepy crawly and your solar at different times. So normally you run your solar from 11 to four, run your creepy crawly before or after that time. The reason why I say that is for two reasons. One, the creepy crawly, we have seen situations where it can backwash debris into the solar panel system, cause clogs, and cause the vacuum breaker on the solar to malfunction. The other thing is you're running both the solar and the creepy crawly. Both those things require higher, higher RPMs from the pool pump and they're both taxing the pool pump at the same time. And so you may get a situation where you're not getting a vacuum on the creepy crawly, you're not getting a flow on the solar pool panels, okay? You don't need to run the solar all the time and likewise you need to run your creepy crawl all the time so just schedule it um, that's what i'd recommend okay solar break green greg here okay so now that you set your temperature just keep in mind it's between 8,000 to 15,000 gallons of water so it does take a while to heat up with solar you get about two to five degrees per day and the pool temperature with solar is about a week's worth of weather so keep that in mind, it's a gradual heat. It's the same way, by the way, with the heat pump. Again, you're talking about thousands of gallons of water. Also, you may wanna consider in the spring and fall to use either solar rings or a solar pool cover to help hold that heat in because at nighttime, the temperature drops between 10 to 15 degrees. So if you don't cover your pool, it's gonna lose some heat at night and also get some water evaporation. You don't have to cover your pool, but if you wanna get the max amount of heat, a solar pool cover or solar rings recommended. So I will leave a link below in the comments. When you're done, go ahead and close this cover. 
Most people, once they set it, they just forget it. Let it do its thing, okay? Solar Bright Green Greg here. What we do on this channel is we give customers helpful information about solar pool heating, solar panels for home, solar electric, and energy efficiency. And I do it all without any sales pitch. I'm just trying to help homeowners do some basic troubleshooting and also learn about solar. Hey, I'm a homeowner too, and I know how it is. You're trying to do a home improvement or troubleshoot something, and you don't want a sales pitch. You just want helpful advice. If that's you, you're in the right spot. Go ahead, hit that subscribe, hit that thumbs up, and hit that notification bell. And by the way, don't forget to save this video in case you ever have to look at this again. Thank you so much, and have a great sunny day. Bye-bye. See you next video.